Minasan, roll your sleeves up. We have work to do. Tokoro de, this guide is for Arch, however, it will work for all distros. But if you're currently distroless, you should really put Arch before anything else. Okay, let's do this. So here we have a fresh Arch installation with the minimal setup. That means no desktop installed. I'm running it on VBox and I'm connected from my Fedora, all right? I think I'll need a text editor for completing this and that's gonna be micro. Actually, I switched from Helix to micro even on my main cause I'm done with the shortcuts. Look at that. Control S to save, Control A to select, Control Z to undo. I'm telling you guys, it's real. All right, let's install Z shell and Z shell completions. Um, Z shell completions provides additional completion definitions for things like CLang, so quite possible you won't need that very much. So don't get anxious if your distro does not have it. Okay, let's check the shell paths. and set Z shell default with S option. In Fedora, you can use the local change shell instead. It's more like an administrator's thing. First time we log in on Z shell, it starts an interactive setup guide to help us configure some basics. Well, we'll polite pass with zero option because we'll set up everything up with oh my Z shell. Install. And we just need to copy this script. Oops, bummer. It needs git. Okay. Cool. It worked now. Sec, please. I'll quickly do an edit. I'll set setup to no no match. That basically matches similar to bash and I find it more convenient or I think I'm just get used to it. Also, I'll make a small alias to start micro faster. Control S to save, control Q to quit, awesome. A question I get a lot is what fonts I'm using. So let's download those. And by the way, you need nerd fonts anyway for some special glyphs that various prompt themes use. So, Fantask Sans is what I have on Terminal. Um, let me copy that. And then download it. Actually, no. First, I will create the fonts directory. Dot local, share, and fonts. What? Stupid autocomplete. Basically, I already use this font because the terminal runs on Fedora, but I'm putting it here for reference. Oh, it's a zip. Wait a bit, pretty please. Off again. <laughs> And just like that, you have one of the best terminal fonts installed. Well, everything in life should have some rust inside, even when it isn't really necessary. I don't even like Starship that much, but let's do it for rust's shake, okay? Besides, we went through all this trouble to get nerd fonts, so I say, let's use them, chief. Copy this and paste it. It puts Starship on USR and local bin, and if you install it like that, you also need to manually update it. So I guess a better way is to get it from your distro repositories. Anyway, next we need to initiate it. So I'll copy this and add it on Z shell RC. It should be in the very end. Okay, let's activate it. There we go. I was thinking to customize it a bit, because I don't really like the default, but 
We better hurry up with the actual matter, huh? Alright, let's download Olama. Basically, we only need this script, and we're pretty much done, um, after this is finished, because it gets a bit... Ah, uh, like... Oops, crap. I didn't think about NVIDIA on VBOX. Um, if that won't work here, I guess I'll continue on Fedora. Anyway, let's see. Next, we need to pick a model, which is a good time to do because a week back Facebook released Llama 3.2 Mini that is optimized to run on local devices, like desktops. I'd say exactly what we need here. I'm picking the 1 billion parameters model, but if you have something like NVIDIA 40, you should go for the 3B. Um, okay, let's see. To be honest, I wasn't expecting it to work. Nice. You can check your models, download more, remove them and all those. And one more thing to remember is that Olama now runs as a system D service, so you can use the system control to start it, stop it, whatever. Um, originally this guide was about using Olama together with a Z shell plugin. That's why all this Z shell context before, but that didn't turn out well. So I thought to switch on shell GPT instead of throwing all the video away. I hope I did good. Shell GPT latest commit was two months ago, so the project doesn't seem quite active, but it has 9,000 stars on GitHub. Plus, it actually works, so I say, let's do it anyway, chief. Okay, first things first, we need to install it. It uses Python, but because we want to use it with a local Llama model and not with OpenAI, we will utilize it with LightLM, according to official guide. Which reminds me, if you get into troubles, ask on GitHub, not on YouTube. So I'll copy this. But I can't really paste it yet, because we need to install Python first. Just in case you don't know, which is highly unlikely, Pipex is like Pip, but it also manages the virtual environments, okay? Now we can paste it. Oops, it's pip x. And now we can run it, I guess. On first run, it will ask us for the OpenAI key. Let's deal with it, huh? Um, let me recheck the name of the model because I forgot it already. Actually, I started this video like three days ago. Copied. Run it again. And put some random key. But imagine if I got it right. Unlucky. So let's fix this with Olama, okay? Configuration is on .config, shell GPT, and .sgptrc. Um, here we need to change GPT-4.0 with our Olama model. Set open AI functions to false. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to upload a second video with open AI to show you some stuff. Marked and enable light LLM and we should be fine, I believe. Let's try it. Basically, we can ask it to tell us in what Linux is running because it has system access, which is a functionality that you most probably don't want to share with OpenAI. All right, that's pretty slow, but on NVIDIA boxes, it's pretty much instant. The same for the 3B model. At least it found out it's running on Arch. Not bad.
Something more useful is that you can pass commands with the S option in natural language, and Shell GPT will try to transform them to Linux commands, and even give you an option to directly run it. For example, we can ask it to balance our partition. But without very satisfactory results. Although this is cause of the small model. And anyway, when it finishes, we can select to execute it, which is more handy than copy-paste, and definitely more handy than opening a web browser or some other app for asking. Speaking of handy, there is a handy integration with Zshell to avoid typing sgpt every time. That command added a new entry on Zshell RC that binds Control L to sgpt. Let me show you. So this is it, and you can change the shortcut if you want. Second to relog for trying. Again, I can tell it to balance my disk and press Control L for activate the agent. Oh, well, that's embarrassing, but we are still on a baby phase. In like a year, models will do such tasks with 99.99% accuracy. Much better than any human Linux user, by the way. Anyway, for more, and there is much more, like editing files or a chat prompt, just read the official documentation, okay? So when I asked you if Olama was the best open source desktop project of the last 10 years, it's not even a question whether Olama is desktop since it interacts directly with the system. Now, is it the best? I might have rushed that a bit, but in a year from now, that won't be a question either. Meanwhile, I didn't forget about Wave might do after, but quite honestly, I rave about an Olama powered terminal with GNOME tech. So that was all, bye bye humans.